Hey kiddos, next two here, and welcome to A Place Forbidden. No clue about anything about this game, except for that it's a place, and it's for Biden. A place for Biden. That's what I like saying. But, um, yeah, this is a part of the demo disc, second game, and, uh, let's start it. Like I said before, each game is different completely from each other. The Library of Ouroboros. I'm finally here. It's almost anticlimactic to stand so easily within its walls. After all, uh, if the rumors are true, the library contains knowledge beyond anything one might hope to find on Earth. I feel like I've heard that word, Ouroboros, before. Words of power, occult learnings, enough to transcend death. It will be mine, all of it. I just need to know where to look. Uh, Okie dokie, bro locked but yeah um why would i leave i've only just arrived i know nothing about this it looks funny and what i was trying to say before coming off is every game in the demo disc is a completely it's the only thing that's similar about all of them is they have the ps1 graphics so they're all going to be pixelated but besides that everything else about them is going to be different so Guess we're looking at books. Almanacs, useless. Biographies, I've heard none of these people. A transcript. I've been having these nightmares, Doctor. I'm alone, but I don't feel but I don't feel alone. Not like I should. Rather, there's no one with me, but that's not to say there's nothing around. It's difficult to explain, but it's an uncomfortable feeling. Something drones low in the background, all the white. All the while, I can hear the I can hear snatches of whispers, but only just barely. Like something is conversing with me just out of my range of hearing. Just as something is watching, just uh, out of my sight range, everything's too still. It's wrong. Oh my god, how many? Oh, that is the first page, okay. I don't remember how he got there, and I can't figure out how to leave. Everything is hallways upon hallways, shelves of books that look like they've never been opened. Almost all of them are still, and that, and yet I get a feeling like I mustn't open any of them, whatever I do. There's a pull towards them, of course, the sense that I'll learn more than I could have ever hoped on Earth. But there's a danger, a vague, creeping danger. The feeling that something is very, very interested in every move I make. Who, who or what it might be, I don't know. I don't know if it wants to bring me in, or it wants me to leave. How does it end? Well, as I mentioned, there's no real way to escape. Every place I go leads to more rooms, but eventually after a time, I I don't really hear them so much as feel them. Look no further, look no further, look no further, and then I wake, and every time I feel farther from this world. To be honest, Doctor, I hope it's all in my imagination. I hope I'm afflicted with some kind of mania, because a place like this can't exist, shouldn't exist. And if it does, then I can only hope that no one else would be so unfortunate as to visit it. Oh, that was the wrong button. Ah, huh. wow, that guy doesn't seem like he's having a good day. Uh, novels, science fiction, and fantasy, as well as a few stray romance novels. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Apparently, I'm looking for all the knowledge in the world, or so to speak. This door is unmobile. I can only imagine what strange arcane secrets lie behind this varnished surface. It's, yeah, yeah, big boy word. What's that? There's a single book. The Minister's Doom, Act 3, Scene 2. Bernice enters, followed closely by the librarian. Bernice is breathless, looking both exasperated and slightly excited. The librarian's expression is unreadable, as per usual. Bernice, my husband will find out about us. He won't stay out forever. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. But sh uh, but shall we retire to the living room if we are to speak of such unpleasantness as your husband? Bernice's face suddenly... Uh, I can't read today, dude. This is not the kind of game to be playing when I can't read. Bernice's face breaks suddenly into a grin. She grabs the librarian's hand, taking him on to the couch beside her. Fine, then. If you're to stay, I want to hear some of those secrets you keep talking about. You can't play me for the fool forever. I would never claim to do such a thing, my dear. Would you care to hear how I stop a human heart with but a word? Goodness, that sounds dangerous. It most certainly is. I wish to hear it. Then, of course, you shall. 
He leans close to Bernice, who closes her eyes as if expecting a kiss, but the librarian leers past, leans past her, whispering something into her ear. Bernice's eyes open wide. She gives a single jerk, a strangled groan, and goes limp, sliding off the couch. Too curious for her own good. He stands, reaching into his pockets to withdraw a single black case containing Bernice's wedding ring, taking a curious... Curi ah, a curious look around the living grocery. Look around the living room. The librarian eventually focuses on the single point on the opposite side. The librarian crosses the floor, leaves his items, and turns to leave. As he does uh, so, the scene darkens, leaving only a single spotlight to illuminate the stage. It is fixed on a small black case, which the librarian has decided to leave, sitting atop the minister's writing desk. Why am I reading all these things, and how many of them do I have to read? Also, what is that sound? It's like whispering. It only happens here. That's not cool. I don't know what the objective of this game is. But I guess it's just to learn. A partial history of the library. The library of Ouroboros wasn't so much built as it simply came to be. That much we've been able to glean from the early murky tales about a certain endless structure rich in occult knowledge. The first tale was penned by an unnamed Gallic mystic who compiled a variety of accounts from traveling company com travelers companying of strange dreams. Many of these travelers accounts on the place were the same endless hallways of strange materials, magic devices that seemed to give off light or sounds without any visible source. But rarely were there many tangible details aside from these characteristics in the front of the knowledge ringing on the walls of the place this of course changed approximately 670 in approximately 670 where the mystic was visited by a lone woman she was reported wide uh, wild-eyed half mad and complaining of dreams much as the same as her fellows but she claimed that these dreams became reality briefly and that she at one point even visited the bleak place the bleak, that bleak place. She claimed to run into a dark, amorous figure with a score of glowing red eyes. This figure apparently spoke to her, promising her black knowledge should she only pledge herself to it. The, though the mystic asked how this woman escaped such a place, the woman gave him no explanation. In fact, she spoke no further, withdrawing from the mystic's hut to begin her traveling anew. She was never seen or heard from again. This testimony is hardly a concrete example of the library's existence, but it certainly makes one wonder if the tales like these could exist from earliest days of modern man. What other truths could lie buried deep in the past? Should one be willing to tunnel through the cobwebs of years to reach the ancient tales hidden beneath? Hmm. Those are some interesting stories, my boy. But what purpose do they have? I see you there, mister. On the founder, they came to the domain, a blank canvas in the cosmos, from places unknown in oldest time. They had existed longer than man, longer than the sentient stones of you are, longer than the cosmic force that runs through all things. They have always been. They say the ruins that course through the universe, the constant in and out flux of entropy, with and with entropy went items of worth, and it was that worth that they sought to salvage. Not things, ideas, thoughts, power intangible. Through the years they reached for their power was the reach for their power was immense. Through eons they snatched up secrets, dark and light, but it wasn't enough it wasn't long before it all became too much, even for those ancients. The remaining pages have been torn out of this book, and their place is a single piece of lined paper with an untitled with an untidy scrawl standing upon it in red ink. The key to go further could have been deciphered from the last word in each of these books, but I tore them out. I couldn't let anyone else go deeper. Sorry, but trust me, it's better this way. As you close a book, you make out a single word scratch not written into the inner cover. Your predecessor must have missed it, or else it was made after the note was placed. Telephone. Oh boy. There is a telephone in here, I think. Yeah, it's right there. What about it? Oh. Is there a point to this? Can I move it? Wait, well, hold up. Oh, I can move it. 
This is something I'm trying to get to. What's the point? Well, I can't freaking get away from it now, so that's cool. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, so apparently, the last word of every book is what I'm looking for. So, whoa, wrong button. So telephone desk beneath. Oh, it's beneath the telephone, the desk. That's what they're trying to tell me. What's well, down there, huh? Well, there's something down there. Oh, welcome message. From all your staff, welcome. We're glad you're here. As we're sure you're aware, the library of Ouroboros is located in a picturesque, a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of Sussex. Many rural townships obviously be fret from their own libraries. Refer these villagers to the library. It is beloved by all. We hope you'll take your time pursuing our vast stories of literature. Nonfiction, fiction, occult knowledge, cursed knowledge, words to melt the eyes of anyone who reads them, poems of murder, and other and otherwise. You'll certainly have enough Bernard. Enough time, Bernard. You certainly have enough. Uh, I can't read, dude. I can't fucking do this. This is so bad. Also, that was a key on the floor. Copper key. It does not go there. But it does go here. The only positive about this game is I'm going to be much smarter at reading by the time I finish it. But you guys are going to have to suffer through my stuttering in horrible English. Besides, it was a mistake. The library wasn't in England. I found it in Germany. City of... Holberg, and I didn't read the rest. Such a small, unassuming front, as if by it looking so plain that might hide from the rest of the world. There is a lot of books in this room. What does that sound? It's like beating in my ear. It's very small. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to get numbers. Can we stop with the footsteps? don't enjoy hearing that. It's a paper. You're an avid reader, aren't you, Bernard? You can't read these books, but don't fret. They'll pave your road to new knowledge. If you're stuck, think of yourself like a c cataloger or a librarian. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The case towards the windows seems as good as any p to start. The case towards the windows? Oh, these ones. So you want me to start with this shelf here, huh? Alright. Start with the first book. Can't read that one. Let's start with this book then. Can't read that one either. Alright, let's start with this book then. Still can't read them. Can't read these books. What's what's going on, bro? A frigid scene. There is no fog outside either. Either. What's going on? Why is outside so dead? I'm trying to get my knowledge on, yo. Oh, there's a way to bend down. I can't click on any of these books for some unknown reason. Locked as well, damn. That's out of character for you to say. Can't read that one. Oh yeah, these books are like too impossible for me to read or something like that, right? At least that's what I was told. Can I read that one? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I can't read the books, buddy. Because there's a code I'm supposed to find. But if I'm too stupid to read the books, then... What was the point of the code? Can I really not read any of these like huh turn it you off what the fuck am I supposed to do then I'm too dingus dumb if you're stuck think of yourself like a cataloger or a librarian as a nice ring too doesn't 
You can't read these books, but don't fret. They'll pave your road to new... <gasps> oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. So there are four books here. One, two, three, four. So four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Four, six, five. One, two, three. Four six five three four six five three. I think that's the code. Okay, I figured it out. I was like, I don't get it. Eh. Four. Six. Five. Yeah, I did it. Finally, here's hoping that that's the last of these locks. Oh, great. Whoa. Why did we switch from this game to a horror all of a sudden? Please explain how we went from super puzzly library game to just horror. What's going on in here, huh? Oh, that looks great. I can't wait to go in the hellhole. Seems like someone tried to board this room off. I can't remove the nails with my hands. No, you can't. Do I have to figure a way to remove them, buddy? Is that what you're trying to ask me? That's not how trees look, or how outside looks. I've never felt threatened by a chair before. What does that even mean? What's that? Screwdriver. Oh. Really? I'm using a screwdriver to take boards off the walls? That's pretty... That's pretty lame. C can I not go down there? That would be cool. Because all the whispers seem to be coming from down there. Oh, God. Can I read those? Guess I can't. Oh, there's a note. Can't read it, though. There's another note. And I still can't read it. There's another note, and I can't read that. I'm just gonna go in the default that I can't read these. It's a single book here, huh? Oh, that book's changing. You picked up, you'll regret it, you'll regret it, you'll regret it, you'll regret it, you'll regret it. Something is wrong. Really? What made you think that? I need to leave now. Alright, I'll leave, bro. Something is scratching its way into my head. Is it knowledge? Is knowledge getting its way in there? Cause I know knowledge. Your mind is yours. Your mind is fragile. A tiny fissure here. A little force there. No more Bernard. Wow. We could make you. The shambling husk make you walk these halls forever. But we see your curiosity, your potential. We have something more in mind for you. We think you'll like it. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. Thank you for visiting our library. That's it? Oh, you can't end it off there. That was getting somewhere interesting. I liked that. Well, follow them if you guys want to see more. Oh, it just closed the game and I hit quit. So that was that was cool. But um, that was a place forbidden. I'm not sure if there were other things I was supposed to do, but, uh, that was cool. I guess that's what happens when you go there. I don't even know. I guess knowledge is really is power, but I don't know what the point of that was. But I guess it's just up for your own interpretation. I guess the knowledge of whatever that was made 
so the knowledge well it did say there's a bunch of occult stuff involved in it so i guess the knowledge of that book was the whatever the product of the occult stuff was which basically meant that once you read the book the spirit that was i guess summoned would be put into you and you'd have the knowledge of everything i guess or whatever it is that they're trying to achieve i'm not too sure it was a demo i didn't really get to fully understand it but it was cool so i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and in the next episode we'll play the next game bye guys